Hello, my air signs. How is everyone doing this week? This is your Empress Energy coming to you to do a weekly reading for February 13th through February 19th. Ah, look, he's starting right off with a victory. This is going to be an amazing reading. I just did one for the fire signs and I could not believe <laughs> what I got in that reading. That was absolutely incredible completely incredible they are going to have one heck of a beautiful glorious successful happy week that was the fire signs and let's hope that you guys are going to too i i just have a feeling it's going to be amazing for everybody this week you can't start off with the six of wands and uh which means success and think it's going to be a bad week five of pentacles the tower yeah, this is good energy, positive energy here. The tower is signifying um, the changing of the guard. Things have changed for you, and they're heading into better times. Okay, let's see what else we got coming out here. While I'm shuffling the cards and getting the energy, I'd like to remind you guys to uh, please subscribe to my channel. Like my video if you like it. Leave me a comment if something resonates with you, okay? That would be fantastic. Also, tarot does not resonate with everyone. Um, it also does not resonate equally for everyone all the time because there. this is a general reading, okay? I'm reaching bunches of people, not just one energy. So if it resonates with you, that's fantastic. If it doesn't, um, just leave it and pass it on. For, leave it for somebody else, okay? Your, your reading will happen when it's meant for you, okay? All right. Got all that business gobbledygook out of the way, which is fantastic. I hope everybody had an awesome, awesome week last week. Um, Queen of Cups, awesome power there, yeah. Whoops, about to lose all the cards. So, anybody got any funny jokes? <laughs> I asked that. I, I, <laughs> I have no jokes. I am not a joke person. I have tried to tell jokes and like I get halfway through it and forget the, forget the whole punchline, the end of the joke itself. So... Yeah, not 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 me. I'm not good with jokes. All right. Oh, we're going to keep going with this. Yep. Absolutely. And look, we ended with a magician. That's fantastic. And we also have the Queen of Wands on the bottom of the deck. We have Queen of Cups, King of Cups. We have Oh, there you go, guys. Soulmate energy, okay? We also have, uh, oh my gosh, the Emperor is showing up here, okay? You've got the Queen of Wands over here, the Six of Wands, this is, uh, and the Magician. This is an awesome reading, guys. I knew it was going to be. I just, I have this feeling that everybody's reading this week is going to be intense, and it's going to be fantastic. You guys are going to see a victory this week. Okay, and to me, because you have so many wands and cups, I'm going to say it's of an emotional matter. So in your relationship, if you are not currently in a relationship, you are going to find a relationship this week. Okay, the king and queen of cups. That is a power couple or not power couple. Um. Oh, soulmate couple. There we go. Soulmate couple. Okay, full of emotions. Oh, that's queen and that's cups. Where am I? King of cups. <laughs> and I think she was here. Okay, now I'm on the right page. King and queen of cups. Emotional, romantic, soulmate energy. Okay, these this two this couple here is um awesome together. You guys know how to build each other up feel good about each other um look look and there's the star strength you're great together 
emotionally. You're stable. You're secure. You both come across with emperor energy, okay? We don't have the empress out here right now, but I have a feeling that with a magician, she may just appear. Um, but the emperor is, is just an energy, okay? It can be male or female. I think you guys know that by now. Ten of Wands suggests, uh, uh, you know, that you've, you've gone through an awful lot, okay? Some of you, I hate to say it during the week of Valentine's Day, which is this Monday. Um, happy Valentine's Day to everybody. I hope you have a wonderful day. If you're looking to have a wonderful romantic day, if not, remember to give yourself tons of self-love, okay? You deserve it. Anyways, I do see that some people have been in a relationship and it's kind of caused a, a, a bit of a hardship, maybe financially for some of you, um, emotionally for others, okay? And that would be what your tower moment is. You put the burden down. You've got the queen and king of cups. You've got that relationship. Somebody new is coming into your life, okay? This doesn't have to be romance. I do. I am reading it that way. I am reading it completely as a new relationship. However, for some of you, and this is probably just a small portion of you, this relationship between the King and Queen of Cups is soulmate, but it's an emotional relationship that gives you personal satisfaction in your life. Okay. So whenever you're around this person, you find balance, you find, um, you find your soul. Okay. You find your purpose, your balance, your energy. This person brings you back. Okay. And you do the same for that person too. So this could be your parent. This could be a sibling. This could be a friend. Most of you, I am seeing a new relationship where the two of you are emotionally balanced and you renew each other all the time. And this is going to be a very happy, solid relationship. It's going to be very slow moving, though. I do have a very strong feeling about that. Okay. Very, very, um, very slow, steady building of this relationship but it's going to last a lifetime i feel like it could just go on forever all right let's see what else we have in here we have another queen so that's double queens um we have the ten of wands um six of wands which is your victory the magician <sighs> whatever it is you want maybe you brought in maybe you brought this relationship in maybe you manifested with your emperor power and your magician's magic, you brought in this relationship. You manifested what you wanted, okay? And I think this, whoever it is, either you or this other person, is going to pro approach with a message of love, okay? Let's go out on a date. Let's, somebody calls you or you call them on the phone and you talk for hours and hours and hours. It's a small thing that sparks this relationship, okay? But it's a heartfelt, definitely a heartfelt energy there. Okay, let's see what this deck, the Rider Weight deck, has to say about what's going on here. Great energy in this whole reading, um, Air Signs. This is fantastic. This is really, really good. Yeah, you've been through a lot. I remember, yeah, last week's energy was so heavy with all the burdens you've been through. So this definitely looks more positive. You, you, This week you're putting down, you are putting down all the burdens that you've been through, all the things that you have endured. Um, <laughs> and here comes the sun. You can't ask for anything better than that. Happiness, bliss. Whoops, and I'm throwing cards on the floor. They're popping out. Um you got the Eight of Pentacles. You've been working very hard. You've done a lot of shadow work. You've fixed fixed for yourself, for lack of a better word. Um, you've worked on yourself. You've worked on your relationships. Yep, there's proof of that. They were hard. Oh, boy, those were hard-won uh, battles that you've been through. Okay. Yeah, hard-won hard battles. 
but you did it. You definitely did it. Oh, I do see. Oh, I do see romance. I do. And I see a victory here. That offer. Some of you are hesitating about making this offer. Okay, don't. Because this person is on is on the same level as you, okay? You two. If you say something, this person's going to take it the right way. Okay? They're not going to jump to conclusions. Yeah. And I'm definitely getting that. Somebody here is worried. Somebody is concerned about approaching this Queen of Cups. Okay? The energies can be reversed. The roles can be reversed. It doesn't matter. But somebody... After all the hard work that they've done to get themselves to where they are, is a little concerned about approaching this Queen of Cups. Okay? But I really don't see any reason for it. You got the Queen of Wands, which is a passionate um, queen. Okay? And I do see that if I, I see that if you approach the other person. And tell them how you feel, that they're going to be very, very receptive. They're going to listen to you. And you're, you're going to find out that you worried for nothing. Absolutely, you worried for nothing. Um, you both are on the same page. Absolutely. And you've got the magic. You've, you know, emperor power with the magician's energy. You, it's just going to work, Okay. This is a beautiful, beautiful reading. Beautiful reading, guys. Girls, I'm sorry. That's my New York thing. Guys refers to anybody that I'm speaking to. Please take no offense at it. I will work on not doing it. But anyways, my air sign friends, I hope you're enjoying this reading so far. If you are, please like, subscribe and uh, to my channel. And if you could leave me a comment in there, what you think about this reading, okay? I would appreciate that. Okay. One more card popped out while I was sitting here talking. Asking you for your attention. And I appreciate every single one of you that comes in and watches the video, likes the videos, has subscribed to the channel. I really, really appreciate that. And um, I appreciate every single one of you. And look at that. King of Wands or the Queen of Wands. If you wanted verification that this relationship was right, for you that this would work out for you it's right there you've got two soulmate energy cards right there okay the queen queen of wands and the king of wands and the king of cups and the queen of cups soulmate emotional bond um relationship okay all right guys i shuffled that deck so i'm not going to look to see what's on the bottom i have a new deck here it's the steampunk uh tarot full tarot deck and I love steampunk stuff that's part of my uh I don't know my energy as an artist I guess so I thought I'd give these this deck a try and see if uh anything comes out and I like to use you know multiple tarot decks actual tarot decks so that if there is a message that needs to come out and be reinforced that kind of thing can happen so I'm going to actually take these three cards right here and on the bottom of the deck we have the ace of pentacles somebody's going to come in with an amazing offer you may be the one making the offer this whichever it is the king or queen one of you is going to make an offer to the other maybe both of you are going to approach each other at the same time reach out to each other at the same time um, yeah, the, uh, powers that be want you to know that they recognize the burdens you've been through and they're asking you to just stead, hold yourself steady a little while longer. Everything you've worked towards is going to happen. Okay. You're, you're at the end of the battle and they just want you to know that. Okay. And this amazing offer from this, this offer is coming from the divine. Okay. From the universe. And it's going to be made 
actually to you and your soulmate. Okay, let me, let me look at the, what I've got here. I got the King of Wands. Again, the King of Wands. I've got the Eight of Wands. Okay, that means communication. I was just talking about this message, this offer coming in. Okay, it's going to come in from the divine. There's communication coming. Watch the energy in any communication that you get. Okay, um, it doesn't have to be a phone call. It doesn't have to be an email. Somebody could be posting things. Watch what their response is. Take it to heart, okay? And Page of Pentacles. Um, we've got a Page of Cup and Page of Pentacles here. These are both messengers, okay? So some the divine is trying to tell you to keep your eyes open, keep your ears open, see what else is out there, what, or not what else is out there. Um, your message may not be straightforward, okay? Nine of Pentacles. Again, we got that twice, okay? The synchronicities are incredible here. Four of Cups. I get, um, The fire sign got this too, and they also got a soulmate twin flame energy. Um, it warns of them moving too quickly away from what might be good for them. Queen of Pentacles. So we've got how many Pentacles? Or Queens. Three Queens out here now. And we got the Two of Pentacles, which means you need to look for balance. You got the King of Pentacles, okay? Oh my gosh, the energy in this reading is incredible. Absolutely incredible, okay? Air signs, that's for my Gemini, Libra, and Aquarius friends, okay? This is an incredible reading. Hang in there, look. Look for the message, but I wouldn't wait for it. This is telling me, with all this king energy here, that you need to be the one to reach out and make the communication. You might be waiting on something from your soulmate, because I do feel like you two know each other. You absolutely know each other. Um, I don't know how many past lives you've lived, but you've met at least a couple of times once here in this current 3D life. Um, but I'm getting because of the King of Wands twice and a King of Cups over here that it's you. You're supposed to take the initiative. Okay. Re reach out to whoever it is you are thinking of. I do not think you need to fear their response. I think the response is going to be what you hope for, maybe even better than what you hope for. Um, they're emotionally happy with the thought of you coming back into their life, okay? I mean, there's the sun. The sun's going to come out. The sun is going to manifest for you. You've worked on it. Your energy's there. You've sacrificed. You've done the work on yourself. Go for it. Go for it, my air signs. I think it's going to be a great week for you. Absolutely. Full of positive energy here. Let's see what the uh, angel answer oracle cards tell us. As you know, I'm going to draw three cards. Go ahead and pause the video if you do not have your questions ready. And start it back, the video back up when you do. Otherwise, we're going to go ahead and just get started now abundance there you go your life is going to be full filled with abundance i'm not going to tell you any you know i'm not going to give you what your answers mean but um that's between you and your higher power okay there's no need to worry that that definitely refers to you worrying about what your partner soulmate's response is going to be okay definitely and a year from now something major is going to happen, okay? I don't know what. I don't know if it pertains to this soulmate energy. Um, yeah, it definitely does. It, something in your relationship a year from now, something good, 
something positive is going to happen. And this is the first time I've noticed uh, this, but there are two people here, okay? And they have um, other people around them, sets of couples in the world at their feet. So I'm just going to point that out to you and you interpret it the way you should, okay? The way you want to. All right. Going to draw a card from the Whisper of Love, Whispers of Love Oracle cards. Gosh, this is such a fantastic reading, guys, girls, ladies, gentlemen. Okay, air signs. How's that? I'll try to just stick with air signs. Okay. Well, that one wants to come out. So we have the heart of the matter. There is more going on than meets the eye. Okay, we're going to take one more of these and slow down. Pause and allow things to unfold. Okay, so let's see what we've got 22 here and we've got nine here. I don't know about you, um, you guys, air signs, um, but for the last couple of weeks, actually, I'm going to say for the last couple of months, I the synchronicities with numbers has been intensifying for me. Um, in the last few days, it's been incredible. I don't care what I look at. Like, even with this reading, I showed you all the synchronicities of repeated numbers. And tw 22, 222 is a number that's been coming up for me a lot. Um, nine, seven. I, what's your numbers? Drop your uh, synchronicities in the comments below. I'd love to hear. And while you're at it, if I haven't asked you to, would you please like this video? so more people can see it and subscribe to my channel so that my channel will build. It's the only way it does. Um, I appreciate that. I appreciate you coming in, watching these videos. I hope you're gaining something from it. All right, let's see what card number nine tells us. It says slow down. All right, I'm going to hold the card up here for you. All right, so it says, pause and allow things to unfold. Everything in your life is in divine order. There is no need to rush nor hurry. In your excitement, you may overlook the importance of enjoying the creative process. Getting to the goal is half the fun. You might also miss guidance or messages when you don't allow things to unfold naturally. Regroup and release the need to race to wherever you feel you need to be. Slowing down will allow you to appreciate what is in front of you. Embrace the moment. There is nowhere you need to be that will not be there later. Recognize the importance of making time to take pleasure in the journey. I, I really believe this card's meant for me. Um, let me continue. Slowing down will also help you to be more aware of what is going on for you. Find a quiet place to sit and gift yourself the opportunity to be in nature without any interruptions. I just did that and oh my gosh, it's so refreshing. This may mean disconnecting from your cellular device. <laughs> Observe what is going on. Can you air signs do that? Can you get away from your, your cell phone, social media? so on and so forth. I'm just picking on you. I know you can. Observe what is going on for you spiritually. Listen to your thoughts and identify your feelings. In this card, a woman lies in repose with her hair falling around her in a maze. The maze may reflect the complexity of your thoughts or confusion over where to go next. A pair of candles stand above, illuminating and protecting the woman. The candles depict the archangels and the flame symbolizes the energy of archangel michael the archangel of protection no you have help as you make some special time to reflect and gain guidance yeah i'm going to say this card is speaking to me directly right now too because um archangel michael is my guardian angel him and metatron okay that is your reading for this week, my air sign friends. I hope you enjoyed it. I hope you have an awesome week. I hope for those that want to and do celebrate um, Valentine's Day that you have a fantastic um, time, that it's filled with a lot of love and laughter. And if you don't necessarily celebrate um, Valentine's Day, just give yourself a lot of self-love. 
take care of yourself, pamper yourself, do something wonderful for yourself. Okay. Until next week, guys. Uh -huh, uh -huh. Air signs. <laughs> I wish you much peace, love and happiness. Take care.